Hello, my name is Delio Salcier. I'm a pre-sales engineer at UiPath, and today we're going to be going over UiPath apps. UiPath apps help automate long and complex processes from start to finish through seamless human-robot collaboration from a single platform. Here, we will look at a complex automation for invoice processing that requires human-robot handoff tasks. The goal is to remove the mundane work and bring humans in the loop only when needed to make critical decisions. In this demo, we will use UiPath apps to automate invoice processing where an unattended UiPath robot looks for invoices that need to be processed, extracts the required data from the invoice, processes the invoice, and finally submits it into an ERP system, in this case, SAP. During this process, if the robot needs human assistance, it automatically creates a task for a human and moves on with other jobs until the human performs the required action. Here, we will look at two scenarios. First, an invoice backed up by a purchase order, and second, an invoice without a purchase order. Let's look at the scenario where the invoice has a PO number. The robot picks up the invoice and extracts the data, including PO number, invoice number, invoice date, vendor name, total amount, net amount, and tax amount. As this invoice has the PO number, the robot matches the line items in the invoice with the existing PO in the SAP system. Here, we see the robot entering the basic invoice data into SAP, followed by PO number and the invoiced amounts. This lets SAP perform matching to PO amounts and quantities. In this case, upon posting in SAP, you will notice the document is posted with a blocked for payment message due to PO invoice unit price mismatch. Immediately, the robot creates a new task for a business user to review this matching exception and to make the final approval. Here, we see the task in the task inbox of UiPath apps. The task is in unassigned status. The respective user can either accept this task or assign it to someone on the team. Here, we see that the user accepts the task and approves it to confirm that the higher unit price is accepted. As soon as the user approves the invoice, the next available robot gets triggered to continue the process. The robot then locates the blocked invoice in SAP and releases it for payment. In the next scenario, we see that the invoice selected doesn't have a PO number. The robot creates a task and sends it to tasks inbox for a business user to perform geo coding of this non-PO invoice. Upon seeing the task in the inbox, the user accepts the task, checks the invoice, and adds the respective geo codes for each of the line items. Then submits the task as complete. While the user acts on this task, the robot is free to pick up other jobs. Immediately, an email and a mobile notification is sent to the manager for the final approval. In this case, the manager has the UiPath Orchestrator mobile installed on her mobile phone. Once the manager opens a task on her mobile application, she can see the invoice details and add any comments and can either accept the task or assign it to others on the team. Now, the robot continues the process, logs into the SAP application, enters the required data from the invoice, and then updates the newly provided GL codes. Once the GL codes are successfully submitted, we see the document number at the bottom of the screen. In this demo, we saw the power of UiPath apps allowing humans and robots to seamlessly collaborate automation of a complex process. The possible automation supported by bringing human into the loop are endless. Get started on your automation scaling journey today. Thanks for watching.